An energy crisis has been averted after Australia's leading gas producers promised to increase supply and head off any shortfall. The deal came during a meeting with the Prime Minister, whose threats paid off. At a high-level meeting, a gift to the government from the bosses of Shell, Santos and Origin. And they have given us a guarantee that if the gas is needed, it will be provided. In the face of a predicted staggering shortfall in gas supply next year, the government threatened the companies with export caps to guarantee supply for Australian homes and businesses. Those gas producers now say they will make up any shortfall in the domestic market over the next two years. The only guarantee available to the government to cover this shortage that they've known about for years apparently is to pull the trigger on gas exports. He should have done it today. As for what it means for consumers, well, the Prime Minister says in New South Wales and Victoria at least, they're still paying much more than they need to for gas because they're bringing it in from Queensland. And he again blamed those state governments for not allowing the onshore drilling of gas. The failure to develop the onshore gas resources, the gas that's literally under our feet, uh, is costing households and businesses dearly. But there was another blow for the government's push to have AGL extend the life of its Liddell power station in the Hunter Valley. The energy giant again seemingly committed to closing the 45-year-old coal-fired plant in 2022. It's very much worthwhile recognising that AGL has provided seven years' notice of its intention here. That is a long run runway. And the company believes finding a buyer will be challenging because of the huge costs involved in keeping it reliable. Barnaby Joyce, not impressed. I've got this car and I just don't think I can fix it. There's nothing I can do with it. And then you say to the person, well, good, do you want to sell it to us? And they go, no, no, I want to drive it off a cliff. Eddie Meyer, Nine News.